Hello, Esther. Hello, everyone. A lot of African artists are on tour right now all over the world, but we are going to talk about who is in the U.S. now and over the next couple months. Jackson Mvungani, host of Red Carpet, you just saw him, on the and the radio show up front joins me. How are you doing, Jackson? Hello, Heather. Happy New Year. Thank you. It's Happy New Year. good to be here with you. Yes, it's great yes, to see yes. you. So let's talk about the first artist. He's a Belgian-Moroccan singer. His name is Distinct, and he starts his North American tour on January 25th. Now, he begins in D.C. Right. D. And C. then New York, you, then Canada. Absolutely. D.C. down the street, actually, Union Stage. Yeah. 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 D.C. is actually a, mo a melting pot of cultures. We have a lot of Francophonies, you know. Very People true. from North Africa. Very true. You know, from, yes. uh, you know, French backgrounds. And so we know that he's going to fill up uh, his venue. Oh, yeah, he yeah. is. And then after that, he's going to be in New York. Then he's going to be in Canada. Absolutely. Now, it's a his... busy, busy season for him do all you... the way up to June. Oh, yes. Well, do you know that in the past year, he's released, I don't know, about 10 music videos over, I think it's eight of them have reached over 50 million views. Wow. That's he, amazing. I'm not surprised. I mean, they, you know, from, from Gims to Daju and many other Francophonic artists, we've seen such a, a rise of, uh, uh, you know, artists from that region, yeah. uh, whether it's from Belgium, from France, from True. Francophone countries. True. So there's a very big demographic of listeners, an audience for him. Yeah, there really is. He, he really had his breakthrough with that music video called Ghazali. Yes, Ghazali, um, great yeah, music that, video. That topped really the charts. enjoyed it. Yes. It topped the charts in like a dozen countries. Wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah, he's just awesome. Can't wait to see him. Also, he was the North African artist, awarded Best North African Artist at the Trace Awards in 2020. Wow. Yeah. Big future for him. Big future. Yes. You're going to see the show? Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. I can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, on March 9th, here's the second one. Yeah. This music festival called Rolling Coco happens again in Washington, D.C. Rolling Coco. Rolling I like Coco. It. <laughs> so I yeah. love the name. I love the name, too. <laughs> and it features. Does it have anything to do with Ghana, maybe? Ha, how'd you know? <laughs> Ivory Coast too. Maybe Ivory Coast, yeah, true, <laughs> true, But true, no, true. it's Ghana. It features all Ghanaian artists, uh, Stoneboy, Black Sheriff, R2Bs, Kidi, Kamido, Top Sefa. talent, top talent. It, it's just going to be uh, Kwesi Arthur, uh, man, so many people. Absolutely. Um, all, all big top talent of uh, in, in Ghana. Yeah. It will be nice to see. I think this is comes last year they had a, a party in the park which was a festival yes i was there uh, sako Deer was there yep. and others i think that was kind of testing out the waters to see how mm. it would do yeah. if they brought like a whole big group of artists it's nice that they have a combination of you know old school new school high life hip-hop artists from ghana Absolutely. ghana has one of the most vibrant music industries on the continent yep. really we never we talk about nigeria a lot but we never talk about ghana as much but really they laid the foundation for some of the things that we see right now going on in the the they did. African music business. They did. It's true. And one of my favorites uh, is going to be there. Well, too. Stone Boy. Stone Boy. And yes. Black Sheriff. Yes. Black Sheriff. Uh, oh yeah, he's killing it. I can't wait yeah. to see Black Sheriff. Yeah. He's going to be amazing. Yeah. All right. So, anything else you would like to say about uh, this maiden edition of Rolling Coco? Uh, listen, I expect it to fill up. You know, because if, even though it is Ghanaian, yeah. uh, we know DC, again, melting pot of African cultures. Yep. A lot of people from East Africa, West Africa, North Africa are going to attend this. And it's Just looking at the English. lineup. Yeah, it's also English. Anglophone, Absolutely. A little easier for, Absolutely. for people here in yes. DC. So it's, it's going to be a nice festival. Okay, number three. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to talk about her. Uh, Tyla. Yes. So she kicks off uh, the U.S. leg of her tour in April. And, you know, she just blew onto the scene only, well, in 2022 yes. with that song, Getting Late. And then, of course, Water is now everywhere. Tyla is having a moment. I can't keep my eyes I have eyes to off tell her. you this. I, she's just... Fun fact about Tyler's okay. water viral moment oh. started in Kigali, Rwanda. What? Actually, yes, when she was performing, this whole idea of getting the water bottle, pouring it over on her back, which is the thing that really propelled that song to mega superstar. So you want to make We want to take a little bit of to credit to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Tyler has broken a lot of records entering at the billboards at number 67, First time in 55 years that a South African has done it. Last time somebody did it was Huma Sekela. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this kid is just starting out. She's only, I know. what, 21 she's years old? She's 21. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she's rated number 150 in Spotify's uh, world music. Well, has a billion views on TikTok. Oh, my Gosh. I mean, listen, <laughs> well, she's just starting stunning. out. Her voice is her, great. Her new album just, you know, dropping. Yeah. Beautiful voice. Yeah. Visually, you know, 
I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to see what else she, she brings us in the future. Absolutely. Okay. So these are just a few of the African artists who will be gracing the U.S. stages. Uh, Jackson, do you have any other uh, people that you know are coming? I don't know soon? yet, but I know okay. this is going to be a busy year. I yeah. expect Bonaboy to be back in Washington, D.C. In the, his U.S. tour is happening this year. Yeah. I know Ashake is going to, uh, you know, many others yeah, many for others. the Afrobeat genre right. will definitely be yeah. coming through the U.S. We're going to have a good time. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's our entertainment report for this week.